This is to show you how you can edit a message that you've sent in a chat. Now a chat is when you're communicating one-on-one -on -one with some individual. Remember, it works exactly the same inside of a group or channel, but in that situation, the administrator of that group has lots of rights and can manipulate the messages as they deem necessary. This is specifically for a chat where you're sending a single message to somebody else or they sending a message to you. So what happens is uh, if you send a message, you still have the right to edit that message once it's been sent already. So it happened the other day, uh, a message, for example, was sent is uh, send the uh, picture. I'm going to just put this picture to say hard hat at go.com. Okay, so for example, a message was sent like this and the person realized that they had made a mistake that it's supposed to be hard dot hat. Now, the challenge is with most other messaging service, you'll have to delete that and then send a revised one. With Telegram, what is great is if you tap on the message that you've sent, you have a little edit button and you can go in then and let's put in the, the dot there. And once the dot's in there, I'm going to click a little check mark and you see it updates on the message itself. And it shows at the bottom there, edited. It's important to show edited because sometimes when a, p a person sees the message and then it changes, they might not be aware that there's been a modification. So that often helps and that's just for auditing purposes it makes and privacy purposes it makes good sense. Just the other thing is with a message, if you delete it off your device, you have the option of deleting it off the person's device that you sent it to. And when it deletes it off their device or your device, there's absolutely no trace. It doesn't say message was deleted. It just clears it off totally. A interesting thing is if you involve anybody in a chat uh, because of the democratizing of communication on Telegram, as soon as you involve somebody else, they have the equal rights to delete the message that has been sent to them off their device and off your device. Okay, they can't delete any of your other messages. It's just the ones you've communicated with them. So for example, I send this message, send the picture to hot.hat at go to Lido Concepts. If Lido Concepts deletes it, they, it will ask them, do you want to delete of your device? And it will ask them, do you want to delete of the person who sends it, sent it to you's device also? And they can just choose, no, just delete it off their own device or of both. Some people ask why is somebody else able to delete it off my device when I send the message to them? Well, as soon as you involve anybody in a communication, they become part of the, the paper trail of things. So if, if anything involves somebody else, they should have the same rights over that particular communication. Um, so if I want to delete this, I long press on the message. Uh, let me just show you if I'm going to just go back off this here. Let me just go back off. I'm going to just type a second message to show you that you can delete specific messages. So I can maybe want to delete hello. I can long press on hello. And you can see it gives me an option to select the other one if I choose to. But when I press delete button, it now asks me do I do want to delete it off my device and the person that I sent it to you then I have that choice. So I'm going to just do that. I'll say delete of the person I've sent it to. Delete. You see the hello is gone. There's no trace of it there. And I'm sitting with the one picture. So sometimes if you want to delete three or four messages in a whole string of messages, you can do that.